Hello, I'm Jackie West. Welcome to Wednesday's edition of the PE Crime Blotter. Another batch of more than a thousand sexual abuse cases involving Boy Scouts from 1971 through the early 90s was released by the Los Angeles Times. A number of those cases from the inland region. Joining me now is reporter John Asbury. John, can you give us a few more details about what cities those cases were from? Yeah, these cases, they, they range mostly in the 80s and 90s from, uh, there were four cases in Riverside and then a, a handful of cases in San Bernardino as well. And then you have these isolated cases that occurred in Redlands, Norco, Idlewild, and then a couple in Hemet as well. So uh, they're really all over. Can you tell us what types of cases we're dealing with here? Sure. Um, the, these are all sexual abuse cases involving um, men who worked with the Boy Scouts and with these young children. Uh, going back to some of these cases in the 80s, uh, there was a man in Riverside who was found to have been uh, spotted in a shower with a boy, and then the uh, boy said he tried to climb into bed with him. And then another case in Hemet, where a convicted child molester went to work for the Boy Scouts, and he was stopped by his parole officer with photos of Boy Scouts and said that he had befriended a, a boy and his mother and joined the troop that way. Now, what are these cases showing us? Well, these cases, there's two points of view. One is that... Um, a lot of these cases now are, are being reported, and, and it's important to note we haven't seen much in ways of these cases with the Boy Scouts since the early 90s. But during this time, it showed uh, an elaborate cover-up by the Boy Scouts. All of these were sealed in a confidential file, and authorities believed that the Boy Scouts were trying to hide these from authorities as well as uh, from parents to show that these suspicious suspects were working with the Boy Scouts and uh, not undergoing proper background checks, etc. Now, do we expect more information to be released about these cases or anything? Well, this this is already on top of more than 3,000 cases that were released. And uh, the LA Times has really done some remarkable things in terms of these files. Uh, on their website, they have an extensive database of who these people are nationwide. The Inland Empire is only a small pocket of that, but we it's unknown if there are more cases that still could come out from this. Okay. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. That does it for Wednesday's edition of the PE Crime Bladder. Don't forget, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm Jackie West. We'll see you tomorrow.